Welcome back to Crazy Brave 6913. On today's episode, we're going to be working on the paper mache rainbow school. This is part two. If you guys want to check out part one, the link to that is either in one of these two corners or into the descriptions down in the description box down below. Off camera, I spent some time working on a pattern here. Um, I didn't record that just because it was a lot of erasing and, and kind of figuring it out. For this video's first part, we're going to go trace these lines in black and then put a piece of paper in over on top of it, trace that, and then make a, like a stencil off of that, and then transfer it over to this side so it matches. That's probably going to take me a bit because in all the other skulls I've done before, I kind of just freehanded everything. But on this skull, I want both sides to match. That's going to be something new for this skull. I have, a, uh, I have another thing that I'm going to be adding to this skull that's new, but I'm not going to show you until we get there. So give me about, I'll say maybe like an hour to figure this out. And uh, I'll show you what uh, the progress that we made. All right, so I went ahead and I did a little bit of coloring and tracing so you guys could see the pattern a little bit better. Uh, that's the pattern we're going to be working with. It's not going to be flat like that. It's going to have a little bit more texture to it, but um, that's what it's looking like. So the next step for me is going to be to put a piece of paper on it, tape it down, and then finding a flashlight, I guess, so I can uh, go ahead and trace this and then make a stencil for it. So let me go ahead and struggle with that for a bit and then um, see what we get. The paper didn't really work out. Um, it was just too thick and I couldn't see the outline. And I was about to give up, but I started looking around and I found this paper and it's much easier to go that. So I'm just gonna use this to trace it and then uh, see if I can make something out of that. I added that piece of thin see-through paper and I carefully scotch taped it down and then after that I put like a thin layer of scotch tape over it so it could keep its shape. I'm gonna trace it and then carefully try to cut it out and maintain that shape. Uh, I don't know maybe I'm not making any sense but okay after carefully cutting I got this flimsy piece of plastic here. Um, it's looking pretty good though it might work out I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw it on there, tip it down, and then trace it, and then hope for the best. But, it might, it might, I might be able to pull it off of this. Okay, after a lot of careful tracing, I uh, finally did it. It's not perfect, but uh, I think it got the pattern down pretty much. Hope you guys can see how it's gonna look. Everything in black is obviously gonna get cut away. I might start cutting right now depending on how much battery the Dremel tools have. The next day. This is what I was able to cut out last night. Pretty much the whole top of uh, the right side of the skull. So I was able to cut some of this off. But not only did this thing break, but I ran out of battery. So I let it charge overnight, and I hope that with the juice it gave it, it has enough power to get me through the rest of it. So I could get to work on gluing it back together. Oh, that's the fun part. So let me start cutting. All right, guys, compared to the Frankenstein, uh, I really feel like I'm flying through this project because I'm already ready to close it off, well for the first time, because I'm already ready to close it off and there's a design that I'm going to be working off of on top of, I know it looks kind of weird but once I add all, all the details it'll look better. So once I am done gluing this, I am going to cut the top of the head off and then start working on the box, the holes in the bottom of it and maybe even make a little floor for it because I'm going to not only be adding lights, I'm going to also add a little bit of a music element to it with this song right here. Let me see if you guys can... Uh... I'm going to be adding a little music box to it. Yeah, that's going to be good. It's going to end. I think it's gonna look real cool with the, these lights that sync up to the music. And 
it's supposed to be colorful but i think it's only green orange and purple because i got them during halloween but that's fine i think it'll, it'll make it look nice in there so yeah i think my gun is ready to go yep all right guys so here it is the paper mache head is now attached together um it lined up pretty pretty close there's only a little I guess this <laughs> didn't really line up perfectly. Uh, I have a little lip there, but I don't know. I think my guidelines help me pretty good. Um, it's just that little lip right there, which I don't know if I'm gonna cut off or just round off, I guess, which I'm gonna do right now. I guess, yeah, I guess to just round it off, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start cutting the top of the head off. But as you can see, I made a mold from this with paper mache. Uh, into this so we went from this to this and uh, yeah all right guys this is the last update for this video uh, as you can see I have done a lot it does not look like uh, the last time you saw it it has a like on this platform thing and the reason for that is because that's where the battery pack is going to be housed um, this one was a little different because the button is on one side and to remove the batteries it's on the other side so I had to improvise there and do this which also freed up some space on the inside so I could put the music box in there. These white things right here are actually mirrors and if you line them up carefully they actually look back, the skull looks back at you so that's a cool little feature that I uh, uh, thought about that as, as I was going. Um, I also painted everything inside of it black and it has a little cardboard black as well because I'm going to cover it up uh, such like this and that's what's going to give me where the flower area to be working on. So I'm going to go ahead and continue working on that but that's the end of this video. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Check out Frankenstein's video somewhere up here, video series somewhere up here and um, thank you for watching the, what is this, the rainbow uh, paper mache skull um, Trust me that's coming out pretty fast. Uh, I should probably be done within the next maybe definitely the next month so Comment down below. What, what do you guys think I should do with the other one I have here? Check out the first video up tomorrow here and uh, bye guys